What is going on guys? My name is Cody and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We're talking today about a great little two wide receiver route combination that you can utilize to the wide side of the field that is going to do a really good job against the meta Mabel coverage, really any zone defense that you're going to face. It'll be good against man as well. And this comes to us out of the Arizona Cardinals playbook. Now, if you have not already subscribed, I would encourage you to do that. Um, by subscribing, all that does is allow you to basically stay up to date on the latest tips and strategies uh, on the channel. Real quick, I want to show you my zone drops, 30, 10, and 10. I think that's the best way to go. Um, but subscribing allows you just to stay up to date with the latest stuff on the channel. Uh, we upload videos every day that can help you get better on Madden on defense and offense. And today we're talking about a two wide receiver route combination. I just released yesterday my route concept encyclopedia. And basically what this is meant to be is it's meant to be a timeless resource that can help you every single year that Madden is out know what are some route concepts based off of where you're out on the field, how many receivers are on the field, how many threats are on the field, and where those threats are actually located. For example, you're going to have some compression concepts. You're going to have some spread concepts. You're going to have some three wide receiver trips concepts. You're going to have some bunch concepts. And we try to go really in depth to basically get you to understand that these are concepts that you can take into any offensive playbook. And so if you want to get that offensive guide, I'm going to leave a link to that down in the description. It's just one time purchase of 15 bucks and I guarantee you we're actually updating this throughout the next couple of weeks we've got the first kind of initial launch out there but we're going to continue to update this with new concepts and uh, so far we already have over an hour of footage on route combinations and route concepts that you can utilize and again we also break this down like I said through the lens of hash marks so wide side of the field versus short side of the field formations spread versus compression and receiving threats one receiver versus two receiver versus three receiver and all the way up to four receivers on one side of the field so with that being said uh let's show you this two-man route combo from curl wheel this is a wide side of the field concept um and we like i said we have so far in the guy we have short side we have working on wide side of the field right now uh but this is a wide side of the field concept so what you're going to see here is i'm going to set up my mabel coverage um which is basically this right here this is kind of what you get um, if you're playing Mutt Weekend League, this is the meta Mabel concept. And this curl route is only found in a couple of playbooks. It's not found all across the board. Um, it's very unique. It's not an actual legitimate curl route. It's a switch route. It's a switch curl. Um, basically what this means is he's going to run like a post route. Um, we've all seen S post where basically he runs inside up a little bit and then post to the to the middle of the field this is where he's going to basically curl that up now um really the idea of this is it's a deep curl route that is on the wide side of the field that is going to the numbers it's on the numbers so you see here if i put a regular curl that is outside the numbers it's a little bit different okay as opposed to this one so the only adjustment that i'm going to make to this play for that two-man route concept uh, is to put triangle here on a zig route. Now you can do whatever you want to the right side of the field. This is what I would call a three wide receiver concept. So you could do something like that um, is a very good way to run this, or maybe you know something like a zig and an option route. Okay, the, the the sky is the limit on that side of the field. But really, we're just focusing on these two receivers. So um, I've got seam flats out there. Seam flats are the best zone in the game to stop curl routes. And what you're going to see is they're not going to stop it. And as you can see, I can throw that route. Now, what's really cool about this play is that it gets into a spot in the defense that is very hard for Mabel coverage to get to. Even if they have advanced, um, like in Mutt, you could put, you know, really good players in. Obviously, to the defensive line, they're going to drop in good, drop really well in zone coverage. Um, but the problem with this is they're not going to get deep enough because this zig. They see how this zig is going to hold. See how he holds them really flat, and then you can easily just throw that with an inside pass lead over the top. Obviously, in, in Mutt, you're going to have Gunslinger. And so one of the other things that you can do, I'm going to show this real quick. Brady's not going to be the best for this. Um, but in Mutt, what you might want to consider doing is throwing a lot, or an, um, a high point pass. Uh, and I just want to show you this. So again, so Zig. And I'm just going to throw a high ball right inside just like that. And you see you're going to get this catch animation just like that right there. So if you have a receiver that's a big body like a Randy Moss or, I mean, even a CD Lamb is probably big enough. Uh, to do this julio jones also a good receiver for this you can basically just high point and you're going to get that catch animation every single time especially with gunslinger the ball is going to zip in there really quickly but again just inside and you see i'm getting that aggressive catch every single time and i wouldn't aggressive i'm i'm actually holding the possession catch button um but it's giving me it's triggering an aggressive animation just because of the high point pass 
So that's just a piece of advice I would give you. And you're going to see a lot of consistency out of this concept. Now, I also wanted to cover something else on this. If you wanted to, you could actually make this concept a little bit different. You can run a zig and a curl. The reason I like the zig and the curl is you can do this from any concept or any um, thing in the, in the game. But what you'll see is this zig route does such a good job because the seam flat zone is, uh, is going to really sit on the curl route. It's not going to, um, it's not going to come up. Uh, so again, let me just show you this one I'm talking about. So I'm going to show you again. The seam flat zone, whenever you run a traditional curl route, the seam flat zone is going to go to the curl every single time. So the zig route, you can count on this. He goes to the curl, so I just pass like this up, and as you see right there, I've got about six to seven yards. That's a way you can kind of do this concept out of, out of anything. Um, you're not going to get the same... In my opinion, you're not going to get the same success rate as this other one because this other one is a really deep curl that gets really into a nice spot on the field. And as you can see right there, nice little soft spot in the zone, really easy to be able to throw that ball and have a lot of success. So anyways, guys, that is the two wide receiver um, curl zig concept, really inverted or um, a switch curl, switch curl concept. You'll see this real quick. Um, I do want to show this. So uh, you might be asking, well, can I just leave him on his wheel route? I might want to leave him on the wheel route. You can. Um, you're going to see it's not going to be as effective. So I leave him on the wheel route. And, I mean, it does actually open up a little bit more space. And I will say that if your opponent is doing something like this adjustment where they're putting curl flat zones over there. Um, so you see here I put a curl flat zone out there. I uh, just want you to watch this. You'll see the curl flat should match him up the seam. I mean, he didn't on that play, but it does still pull that zone outside uh, if it is a wheel route. But what I would tell you is you're not going to have, like, let's say they send pressure or something. That wheel route's not as good of a snap throw. So let's say if they, you know, they send some pressure off of this edge and then they maybe take this guy over here and put him in a yellow zone. Uh, I just want to show you this wheel route. If I try to throw this, you're going to see that that outside third will oftentimes make a play on that. Whereas a zig... I could throw that early and I could throw that late against the zone coverage. So that's just something to be aware of. Um, but you will see that wheel route. What I do like about the wheel route on this play is the wheel route on this play will pull the deep third out of the way. See how he pulls him out of the way and allows me a little bit more of a pocket to throw that ball in. This is going to make it a little bit cleaner in terms of separation against the specific cover three Mabel coverage. It's also going to be a little bit better against something if they were to do like a cover two because that wheel route's just going to pull everything out of the way. But I do like the, I still contend that I like the, the zig. But you see right here, you get that animation where he's not likely to get tackled. Um, so, you know, you can use both concepts. It's really the idea that it's a switch concept, whether it be a zig or a wheel. Um, the wheel does, I guess, complete the switch. But I have found personally for me that the, zig, the wheel route just doesn't do anything against anything else. Whereas this zig, if they go man to man, that zig's going to be a very effective route. Even if they don't, I can still throw that against anything if I want to. Uh, I find that zig to be a very versatile route. Now, real quick, I wanted to cover... Um, man to man on this before we take off so uh man to man this is shaded up man to man that zig this is why i like the zig so much you see how much separation it gets if they press um so it forces them to have to come down and run press man to man coverage um now press man to man coverage is probably the best way for them to handle this but if they run press man to man coverage what you're going to see here is this square receiver you're just going to low ball it as soon as he cuts and he'll catch that fairly consistently um, against the defense. Let me show you that one more time. And typically, the one thing I will say with this is this: the only challenge to me is this curl route. And that's why on the backside, you want to have something, in my opinion, that can beat press man, whether it be a post route or slant or whatever. Um, because if he gets beat off the jam like he got right there, that's the only time where you can get something like what you just saw, where you, the safety comes down, makes a play on the ball or something. That's where you're going to get more of that. Um if they're shading inside and underneath, I find that that is the most effective way for them to stop it. But if he beats the jam, you're going to be pretty consistently open. Um, if he beats the jam, it's going to be a lot easier for you to be able to hit this. Now, but again, you do run the risk of him losing a press animation if they run press man. So another little thing, another little trick that you can do with this is you can actually put Goblin in motion. Um, so you see here, I'm going to put him on a zig route, motion him back across. And that's just going to keep him from getting pressed. And then now you'll see that he'll always be able to beat man-to-man. -man. Everything will still exist against zone like it would before. But now you have a consistent press man beater. But like I said, I would just set the right side up to beat press man. So if you get press man, you can throw your all your concepts over here on the other side of the field. 
whereas on the left side, that's more off man and pretty much any zone coverage. So anyways, that is the two man combination of the switch, uh, switch curl concept. And if you want to learn um, my route concept encyclopedia so that you can build your own offensive scheme and learn routes that have been effective every single year in Madden. Um, this will be very good in Madden 22. It's something that we're going to continue to update throughout as we find new concepts and new combinations. We will be putting them in there basically forever. Um, it's it's a it's, an, it's meant to be a resource, an encyclopedia, a, a basically a glossary of route concepts, uh, if you will, where you can basically just go and say, okay, I'm on the short side of the field. I got a formation. I'm looking to create two wide receivers for the short side of the field. What are some concepts that I can run with that? And then you just go to the encyclopedia and it'll tell you all the all the best ones, in my opinion. So. That is something that I think you're going to have a lot of success with. So if you want to learn um, all of that stuff, I'm going to leave a link to the guide in the description of this video. It's a one-time fee of 15 bucks, and it updates for life, um, basically for the life of the Madden. Uh, like I said, it's it's meant to be a resource, an encyclopedia that keeps getting bigger, keeps updating over time, um, and it's meant to be concept-based so that you can apply it to any offense. So if you want to get that and really learn a lot about quarterbacking and passing in this game uh, i would encourage you to do that we're really trying to look at it more of a as a conceptual guide than just uh here's the five wide scheme or here's the spread scheme this is meant to say okay here's how you become a really good quarterback and here's how you put together some really really good uh route concepts and offensive play calls so if you want to get that that is down in the description thanks for your time i hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you later